I make it? Will I make it? Yesterday. Yesterday. Halt. Biomarker. Here. Report to Meyer in dispatch. The commander is on his way back from the field. Does Mac <laughs> often go out on field missions? It used to be. He was hardly ever on the ship. Always in the field. Always helping. That's why I joined the peacekeepers. But lately, Matt's been acting weird. Not sure what that's about. It's been this way since before old Villador and the Renegade attacked there. Now this bullshit with the withdrawal, I, I don't get it. Whatever's going on, I hope he addresses the men soon. Helps us understand this bullshit withdrawal. Hmm. He's probably got his reasons. Whatever they are, innocent people are gonna get killed. But go see Meyer. Thanks. Regularly check your infection. Oh, I just go in here. Okay. In a year, you'll be addressing me as Corporal. How did you learn? Can't imagine this thing on set and see. Just. Hey, where's dispatch? There. Right, men. We take care of the UV lamps and head back to base. It should be on point, fast, and easy. Go, go, go! Canteen. Yeah, I, I guess. From the fight in the canteen? Uh, maybe. Don't sweat it. You can really hold your own. I respect that. <coughs> Aiden, right? Commander told me to brief you about faction matters. Missy welcomes you. What did those survivors want? Talking about our little argument? They want what everyone wants. Safety, which I understand, but we have to keep our eye on the bigger picture here, and it pisses me off when people mention my father. I, I don't mean to pry, but uh, what's the deal with your father? Uh, this again? Since you're new here, I'll tell you the short version. Classic story. Saved a bunch of his fellow soldiers, some civilians, and got a medal. Whom is this? Long time ago, back when people were only fighting each other, and not each other and infected at the same time. So is he why you joined the military? Pretty much. <laughs> he must have been very proud. Sure. Why not? Uh, who's Missy? It's the name of the ship you're standing in. She played a key role during the revolution. Missy was meant to deliver drugs, masks, and other critical medical supplies, then return home. But by then, home was gone. She and her crew had nowhere to go. And what about now? Now, she serves as PK headquarters in Command Central. All directives are issued from right here. Smart. Easier to defend than a building. Exactly. Where is Matt? In the field. He came across a lead in Old Villador. You gotta wait. See that board? I got plenty that needs doing and not enough men. You wanna pick up some of our slack? We pay well. Medic, hurry! Fuck, that's Major Matt. Medic, Something's hurry. happened. Make room! Clear the way! It's bleeding out! Fuck. Oh Peter's God. in really bad shape. Say, Jesus. Take him to the infirmary! Oh, Summon the medics! Boy. We have to save him. Hang on, Ator. We won't let you go. You hear me? Get moving. 
Better hope Ader survives. We lost too many people in Old Villador. Jack will do all he can to find out who did this. New side quest of Ator. I recognize your uniform. Uh, you're one of those carriers, right? Sure am. Need a message delivered? No, I'm in the market for information, not sending it. And nothing I can do for you. Yeah, so I hear. But, uh, maybe your boss can help me? Our guildmaster? Driscoll? Maybe. I don't know. He has the authority, but you'd have to be a very special case. I don't know about me, but what I'm after is important. You can try to speak to Driscoll, but don't get your hopes up. Story of my life. Where can I find him? In a headquarters. On downtown court, inside the metro station that bears the same name. You'll know it when you see it. And Driscoll, <laughs> you can't miss him. That right, sounds good. Thanks a lot. <clears throat> All right, cool. <coughs> Let's go talk to him. <coughs> Jeez. Oh. Aiden, you know what this is? These brass knuckles belonged first to Commander Lucas. Then, they passed on to Ator. What happened in Old Villador, it can't happen again. We have to save the city, Aiden. From the plague, from the butcher and his men. Whatever they're planning. Okay, but over the radio, you said you have information for me. Yes, but before we get down to that, Tell me, Aiden, what do you need this database for? What does it contain? I'm looking for my sister. What happened to her? A long time ago, Waltz hurt her. He took her from me. And I want him to tell me where she is. If she's still alive somewhere, that's why I was looking for the GRE command center. To access Waltz's database on its servers. So we have a common enemy. Meaning? Waltz, that's the Butcher's right-hand man. He pumps his men full of inhibitors. We can get them both. I brought you here because I know that a few GRE scientists are hiding out in the city. We picked up the trail of one of them, right before the Renegade attack. Sounds promising. When I find a scientist, we'll see what they know. If they are of no use, we'll find another, and another, until you get the answers you're looking for. Why are the former GRE in hiding? They're afraid of the wrath of the people. People angry because the GRE spread the infection. So it's true. The GRE brought in the virus. Who else? They say they performed experiments in their bases. They brought in containers from Haran. At night. In secret from the government. And then everything collapsed. In revenge, people captured the scientists and hanged them from lampposts. And killed the only people who had a chance of finding a cure. There is no cure, and there never will be, Aiden. That's GRE propaganda. Fine. What do you want in return? What do you think I want? Maybe the same thing both of us want? The city has electricity again. The renegades are on the attack. For the first time since the war ended, they attacked our outposts in the city center. But new possibilities have opened up for us as well. Thanks to the electricity, we can fire up the biggest antenna in the center, on the VNC Tower Spire. Wait, you want to defeat the Butcher using radio? In a way. The signal will let me reach a larger number of people. Communication between settlements will be improved. We'll enlist more recruits and defend the city. And then it will be easier to find the surviving GRE doctors you need. I'll do my part, but what guarantee do I have that you'll help me after? You don't trust me, Aiden. I haven't been here that long, but I can already tell that kept promises are rare in this city. If we don't find any of the GRE scientists, I promise I'll get Waltz for you. You're working with Loan, which makes me think you're looking for him too. Okay, I'm in. 
Good. The Butcher attacked for a reason. I want to make sure this city is safe, no matter what. <coughs> you all right, sir? Maya will share our plan with you. Go see her as soon as you can. Oh, and Aiden. You don't have to call me sir. To friends, I'm Jack. Okay. Jack. Hey, what do you want, son? These renegades. It seems they're everywhere. Not for long. Once we get the transmitter on top of the VNC tower, the Butcher will have to retreat. I'm not sure it's going to be so simple, Jack. Simple? I heard you're doing a hell of a job clearing the city of rats. Do you think they might be looking for something in the center? I mean, they keep coming, but it's not like an organized attack. Of course it's not organized, because it's being led by a madman. If Williams is really crazy, why didn't he just flood the city with the toxic water instead of sending in random excursions? Crazy is as crazy does, Aiden. Given how easily he could do it, destroying the city isn't his goal. Not all at once, at least. By sending in bloodthirsty renegades, the Butcher's just creating chaos for its own sake. So the good people of the city become steeped in fear as he sits there in his high throne in white motherfucking gloves and listens to classical music. That sounds pretty fucked up to me. But we can counteract his terrorism with our campaign of enlightenment. That's why it's so vital to get the transmitter operating. So the people know the true enemy. Then we can defend ourselves properly. Okay. Nothing. I think I know everything I need. Good luck then. I can't jump. Oh man. Matt told me to see you. Yes, he wanted me to give you this. A little reward for helping us peacekeepers. A UV flashlight. Could come in handy. Thanks. He said something about a plan? The VNC tower. Now that the lights are on, we can use the TV antenna to broadcast our call for mobilization. But first, we need to get to the top. And that's a long road. What do you want to know? Tell me more about this radio station on the tower. It's the tallest building in Villador. It was once a symbol of the city's greatness. Now, a symbol of its fall. Why do you say that? That antenna could bring the city together once more. But anyone who goes up there trying to fire it up, guess what happens? Nothing good, I bet. Damn right. The city's potential shining beacon is a death trap. We're hoping it'll be different this time. We're gonna light it up with UV lamps. What makes it so dangerous? A volatile nest inside, so we think. It's the biggest dark zone around. Once, night runners tried to take it over. They wanted to use the antenna to connect all the separate groups of survivors, give the people some hope. But they never even got close to the antenna. And in the end, the night runners were wiped out. Wait, wiped out? You mean every last night runner? That's the problem. Frank had it all carefully planned. But for his plan to have worked, he'd need everyone. All hands on deck. And that didn't happen? Not everyone believed in the plan. So there was a rift. Frank thought they'd come around in time, but not everyone came around after all. The plan went to shit. It was horrifying. Those who heard the night runner's screams on the radio that night still have nightmares about it. What happened to the group that refused to join the mission? Split up, drifted apart. Whoever led the descent was branded a traitor. And the night runners faded into a shameful memory after that. We shouldn't waste time on the past. We need our heads in the game here and now. 
Okay, let's get going. Are the lights in place? They would be, if Juan from supplies would just do his job for once. I take it that he didn't. He's been playing hide-and-seek the last few days, and he's late. Getting on my nerves. So look in on Juan first. See what his deal is. And when you do find him, kick him in the ass. Tell him it's from me. Got something to say? <coughs> Daily flashlight. You have received a DV flashlight that allows you to repel and weaken all infected, especially. <coughs> Use the flashlight to go with one and then hold the middle mouse to use it. When it is zero, you'll have to wait for it to recharge. Keep infected with it in the UV light cone one until they fall into the ground. This makes the vulnerable to a few seconds. Use that to agree to attack. Okay. Oh, that's about skill points. For Juan Rayner. You don't appear to be on a schedule. It's urgent. The commander sent me. So Monsieur Jacques sends you? Jacques? Jacques Matt. Monsieur Rayner is not here. I can take a message. No, I need to talk to him in person. Where is he? Unfortunately, I can't help. Monsieur Rayner's whereabouts are no one's business. Wait if he must. Anything else? Now wait, but you're no fun. What about your boss? What's he do for fun? Monsieur Rena is well known as a connoisseur of the finest things in life. Food, drink, and pretty much anything that walks on two legs. Is he near any of these so-called finer things right now? Maybe I can drop in on him there. Nice try, but no. I won't say. Matt's not gonna be happy. Juan is not particularly concerned with the little major's feelings. Do come again. Hey, Juan. Aiden. Getting settled in the city? Working on it. Meyer and Jack sent me to supply. Interesting bunch. Not like any of the other PKs I've met. That might be because they're not PKs, Eagle Eye. Business is their true faith. I see. Now, anyway, I can't track down their boss. Juan? He likes to make himself scarce. Probably lurking around the fisheye. The canteen? The slick bastard's even got his own table there. Bribes the cook to bring him off-menu goods. He lives like the fall never took place. Hey, look for him there. Wanna be sent back good luck the finding him. Keep that and good luck if you view. do find him. What's up there to investigate? You have such well kept hands. Really? No one ever told me that. I don't believe it. Hey, you. Yes, you. Come here. I'm Albert, and from what I hear, you're Aiden. You have quite the reputation, my boy, for being fearless, for boldly crisscrossing the city at night, as if it were broad daylight. <laughs> you believe all that? At first, I didn't believe, because a pilgrim's always a guy with some kind of dark past. A bandit, a rebel, an outcast. But from what they say about you... I'm sure whatever you've heard is an exaggeration. Nonsense, my boy. I have something you probably don't come across all that much. Faith. Faith in you. I'd be careful with that. It's no time to be careful, my boy. I believe that your strength, determination, and courage are just what you need to retrieve priceless treasures before they are lost forever. Ah. Before mankind is plunged irrevocably into the 
intellectual and philosophical dark ages. So, your books, then? This isn't about dime store paperbacks, boy. I'm talking about the greatest works of literature ever created through the eons of human existence. The greatest thought pieces, philosophical treatises, works of romance, drama, and horror. All of which serve to illuminate and uplift humanity itself. Losing such a heritage would reduce us to cavemen, with no better way to express ourselves than through savage grunts as we scratch crude figures on walls. <laughs> sure. How can I help? Work with me, please, to find and secure these treasures. I've been researching the local private book collections. If I'm right, many priceless volumes may be found all around the city. Of course, many of the dwellings are now infested by these horrible creatures of the night. That's where you come in. Yeah, take this list. Each title on it corresponds to one of the many facets of humanity. Fail to save them, and the diamond of mankind will dull and shatter like cheap glass. Remember, we are not simply creatures of flesh and blood, but also of mind and ideas. I am charging you with the salvation of the very spirit of man. Right. I'm off then. <clears throat> so I just got a side quest, okay. Uh, book club. Great. I'm not checking that. You know when Kate told me about the door? Doctor, ah. Man, we didn't call for a waiter. I've got orders to find you from Meyer and the commander. And my name's I know who you are, Aiden. After that bang up with the renegades, half the canteen wants to name their most precious offspring after you, including Vinny here. But you interrupted our meal. State your purpose in one sentence, then please make yourself scarce. You know perfectly well why I'm here. The UV lamps. Meyer says you owe the peacekeepers a delivery. And you think <laughs> your barking will make an impression on me? The Lummox in Chief Jack thinks he can scent his terrier, and everyone will wet themselves in terror. But what can I expect? He can't tell the difference between champagne and a crystal chalice, or water from a dog's bowl. <coughs> he has an ounce of refinement. Isn't that right, Vinny? I don't know. Don't be afraid. It's not like Jack is gonna march in and have you hanged. At least not now. Uh... Ah, oh, Vinny. When will you grow a spine? You want my attention, Aiden? Show me you deserve it. What can you offer me? Look, I could help you out as easily as I'm trying to help Matt. I don't doubt that. I've heard you were a pilgrim. But you're new here. 
Smashing the skulls of a few peasants doesn't mean everyone wants to lift you up on their backs. You have to be more subtle with people. Everyone has their own desire, their, their own price. Your pitch just isn't working for me quite yet. Try again. Mm hmm How about a court-martial? Matt can do that, right? <laughs> a court-martial? You have no idea who you're talking to, do you? Who would hash out the contracts with the suppliers? Who would feed the army, provide it with weapons and clothing? A week without me, and the peacekeepers will be left with nothing. Supply is everything. Try again, man. And don't improv this time. <sighs> I'm... <sighs> You've used up all your time. Didn't pique my interest. But what is it you want, Juan? <sighs> like they used to say, if you gotta ask the price, you can't afford it. Returning to more pressing matters. And? What should we try next? Did you make headway with the pompous ass? Never met a guy quite like him before. Delicious. I told you. Sure don't have a Come see me back at my right. place. We'll talk. Even a drop of pee. Okay, where is she? Maybe some fruit. Sweets always do me good. Here, that we have your horses. Damn PKs don't care about us. down five courses and had a hot young woman at his side a young man but the rest is accurate he's a piece of work all right well i need him to get back to work jack needs uv lamps and juan's dragging his feet hmm that'll be tough juan barely listens to jack so he'll be an even tougher audience for you he has his own men and power base and he loves rubbing jack's nose in that and what can i do about that same as everyone else bribe him he likes fine art antiques Expensive shit from before the fall. When he sees something that used to be valuable, he can't stop himself. Zero self-control. Hmm. All right, where can I find something like that? I heard of an old Polish guy who lived in a penthouse by Liberation Passage. They say he was an art collector. You can try his place. You can only get there via paraglider. That's why there's a chance something is left. I'll be on the radio and guide you to him. What about you, huh? Going on a hunt? <laughs> no, a party. It's Danier's birthday, but you never know when a guest list will overlap with a hit list. Why don't you come and have a drink with us when you're done with one? I don't think Danier likes me. <laughs> he doesn't like anybody. We'll be in touch. Okay, so where'd I go from here? <coughs> I thought I saw something over here. Uh. Fuck. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. 
Maybe I'm gonna have to fly back. Ah, fuck. One, there's nothing left in here. Daniel said it's a virgin spot. Keep looking. He took his paintings, but no room for Jessica. <laughs> One romantic son of a bitch. Took, it seems. Juan would be pleased. Voice message from 5:36 p.m. Mr. County, your transport is en route to you. The art collection should be on the roof already. As soon as the chopper is over the city, we'll call again. The Juan. I think I found his stash. A helicopter was coming for this guy. They sent everything to the roof. I'm headed there to look. Good luck. But scraps. What's over here? Nothing. Can't break that shit. Okay. Oh, fuck. There aren't any paintings left. Everything's been destroyed. Hey, Luan? Found our collector, but no sign of his collection. Luan? Hey, you there? Jesus, Aiden. I told you I was leaving. Okay, quick thing. Nothing here except for a bottle of whiskey and one of vodka. Uh, at least the whiskey's the good stuff. Juan likes a good whiskey. Maybe if you get him shit-faced, he'll loosen up, so to speak. So you still in the canteen? I saw him leaving. Seemed to be heading back to the ship. Probably to his quarters. Okay, I'll go there. And listen. That vodka, Danier is a big fan. If you're planning to drop by, which you probably aren't, but if you really want to get to know this city, this is the way. Just saying. Okay, where's the liquor? Uh. Happy birthday, Daniel. Oh, so you have come after all. Now here, a little something to celebrate another year on the planet. What do you want from me, Gajo? 
What do you mean? What do you need? Why the gift all of a sudden? But the one said it's your birthday, so I thought you... I understand the concept of a birthday gift. To get us a dinner wall. Yeah, uh... Okay, uh, listen. Happy birthday. <sighs> Lost the bet. But at least I have something to cheer me up. A bet? Never mind. Lavon is at the bar. Aiden! You came! You invited me. Didn't you want me here? Let me get a bottle so you can catch up with us. Hey, Ro? Off duty, hmm? Uh, listen, you know how stressful things can be sometimes. You get your orders, they don't make any sense. You're fighting the clock to get shit done. Oh, I feel you, trust me. So, you made it. Luan won. Who won? Is this about some bet? Yeah, with Daniel. She was sure you'd come. Him, not so much. It's almost as if it mattered to her. That's unusual. Here, Aiden. Drink. Nicholas's finest booze. We were about to play a game. No, Luan, we weren't. Come on. I'm out. Yeah, count me out. Too drunk already. A bunch of losers. Aiden, are you playing? What game? Don't bother. You'll just end up really drunk and humiliated. Aiden, the longer we talk, the more time we give this grump to back out. You in or out? Fuck it, I'm in. Okay, let's do it. My man! Rules are simple. You either answer an awfully personal question about yourself, or you must perform the dare. Okay, so if I don't want to answer the question, I get to pick the dare. You wish. We decide whether it's a truth or dare. If you don't do as you're told, you drink. So, have you slept with anyone in Villador? No. Are you for real? <laughs> well, maybe the guy has standards. Fall in love first and all that crap. Yeah, good luck with that. Not everyone is like you, Ro. Okay, your turn. I want to hear you play. Fuck off. Wait, what do you mean play? I'll drink. Forget about it. You play an instrument. Never mind. I drank. Moving on. She used to play the ukulele. Really? Guys, moving on. Aiden. You play for Ro, and I dare you to ask Ro to sing. It's awful. There. Let's hear those pipes, Ro. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> you asked for it. You're my ragamuffin. You might think I'm tough and all. But I always have a ball with you. Woo, 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 woo. You're my ragamuffin I know it's just a silly name But you set my heart aflame It's true Good lord, shoot me Shoot me dead before I have to hear another note Wow, man, that was... <laughs> that was something Okay, enough of this Hey, you want to ask the master assassin here? I always wondered about that hit list. Shut up, Ro. It's not your turn. <clears throat> After you escaped from Waltz, what did you do? Ooh, tough one. I did anything I had to in order to survive. All right, like what? That's another question. Drink. No, he's just making you answer the first one. Who cares what he asked? It started way before that. When I escaped from Waltz. Frank helped me. He showed me that there's something else I can do with all my anger. Back then I thought I'd join them. Be a night runner someday. Ugh. Who was I kidding? They were wiped out at the VNC Tower. Frank lost almost everyone. 
Night Riders fell. Frank started to drink, gave up on life, on himself. <laughs> so, I'm not a night runner. But at least I have my list. <sighs> Good night. Did I ask the wrong question? That's the beauty of this game, Pilgrim. Sooner or later, you get to the wrong question. I'll see you soon, I guess. Okay. Gadjo, here you are. Thank you. Thank you for the vodka. Thank you. Let's drink. For me, and another year in this ship hole. You're not the worst, you know. Why, are you finally warming up to me? Nah, it just means there are worse assholes. And that I'm drunk. Where's Leva? I saw her with you. Now we played the game, and I asked the wrong question. About her life after escaping from Waltz. <sighs> Gajo, Gajo. You got her thinking about the past. Listen, and I'm not telling you this because I like you. I don't even fucking know why I am telling you this. But never, never ask Lavan about her past. You get it? Good. Now, get lost. It's my birthday. <clears throat> okay, <coughs> let's get out of here. <coughs> on people I'll wait for you but to make it quick I must admit I admire your persistence I'm almost curious what you do after I send you packing yet again you'll regret it sixteen year old Highland single malt modeled a year before the pandemic broke out I've read that one barrel of this stuff sold at auction for over half a million dollars. <sighs> what a sublime present. say you broke down my defenses so you're still after those lamps did Matt tell you why he wanted them why he really wanted them yeah to take control of the TV tower wait he's serious is he crazy nobody tried that for over a decade so I guess it's dangerous that's what the lamps are for but lamps need electricity to run the last I heard, the juice ain't flowing there. People have tried to take it without power. Heroes and fools alike. All ended up as volatile snacks. That's Matt's problem. What do you care? I care because something's not right. Can't you sense that as well, Aiden? Matt wants to prepare to defend the city from the butcher's coming attack. So we should start building him a monument, right? Only problem? The Butcher isn't planning any attack. How do you know? 
I have my spies among the renegades as well. Since the end of the war, we have occupied the city center while the colonel squats in the dam. One push of a lever and half the city will find itself under toxic water. The colonel is not stupid. He knows war would be the end of everything. So why did the butcher attack the canteen? That's in the city center. Good question. Maybe it wasn't the colonel who gave the order. Something more is going on. It's something we don't yet understand. What about the UV lamps? Why does he want them then? Jack is hiding something. For a while now, he's been ordering way more lamps than he could possibly need. And then some of those lamps always disappear. No accounting for them once we deliver. Why would Jack skim UV lamps? And here, friend, the mystery takes flight. Jack never got over the fact that he didn't defeat the Butcher back when he had the chance, years ago. He knew that if he attacked the dam, the Colonel would close the floodgates. And the rising water levels would push the chemicals up out of the ground, burning through everything that lives in the city. It's been a stalemate for over ten years, each waiting for the other to make a move. But then, someone turned the power on and something changed, and the renegades attacked the canteen. I'm not here for my health, Juan. I need the lamps to- To find out what happened to your sister. Right, Aiden? I told you I got my spies. Might be able to find something out about Waltz and your sister. Specifically about the GRE scientist you and Matt are trying to contact. I'd even say with my resources, I can find this person faster than Matt. I actually doubt he's able to find them at all. Shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Mm. Mm. Fuck. Fuck. Uh. How do I know you're not using me to make a movie your own? I'm not your enemy, Aiden. It's a shame you don't see that. You'll get your lamps. You just gotta talk to Demolan. Who's he? He's my man. Sent him out to search for more lamps, but he hasn't checked in for a while. Where can I find him? Around here, last I heard from him. Find him. Then come back to me here afterward. You got it. Journal.